The song Raise a Hallelujah by Bethel Music from their album Victory is a it's a real long song. It builds. It has this kind of long build in the, in the middle where it's kind of almost an improvisational thing. Electric guitar is super busy. We are playing for the whole thing and we're driving a lot of it. The acoustic guitar is also driving a lot. We are capoed on the sixth fret of the acoustic guitar. The electric guitar is not capoed. So go ahead and tune up, watch the music video, and let's get started. <laughs> There's this riff that kind of takes over in the background. There's some other things kind of chunking away. But I feel like this part, even though it's kind of buried in there a little bit, it actually kind of makes this section. And so we're going to put that dispatch master on the reverb and the extra delay. And uh, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> repeats through that. So I'm going to turn the effects off here. So again, you can check that out in the tone section uh, if you're not sure what's going on there. But essentially, um, we're, we're bringing our pinky up here uh, and we're barring our E and our B. Now, this is a kind of a tricky part in terms of uh, where it's at. I feel like maybe the guitar that's playing it might actually be capoed here, which would make it a heck of a lot easier. However, because we're covering everything, we need to do it this way. So what we're doing is we're barring on the E and the B and our pointer finger is gonna be on this G. And we're gonna go, so just 16 notes, one E and. Then we're gonna lift up, still trying to hold this note. If you lose it, it's okay, but it's better if you can keep it. So once again, lift up, open it to the E. And then we follow with this. time that section is going to go like this and that's the main idea for the riff now the only change happens every is every time you go through on the second time we go so that ring finger comes down instead of that pointer finger and then everything else is the same so one more time that one and then we're back to the same one for the or first one for the third one. And that's the first and that's the first time through. We do that three times. And then we do one more riff at the end because it holds on the sing a little louder. We just do. And then we go into the chorus break, which we go over in the next section. So uh, I've got that in a tab as well as loops down below. Go ahead and give that a shot. Really dial it in. Like I said, the more you can let those notes ring out, the better. Um, I've actually been playing for a while. My hand's starting to cramp up. <clears throat> I'm still kind of getting over being sick. So uh so that's kind of the, the issue there. However, because you have all that reverb and you have all that delay on, it'll really kind of um, emphasize the, the kind of the bigness and it'll get kind of lost in there anyway. But the, the cleaner you can do it, the better, obviously. So go ahead and give that a shot and then let's look at that chorus break. Two and three and four and... Thank you. 